Hey everybody, it's Robert coming to you from the Old Bird Farm. And today I'm here to show you Farm Truck 2.0. But I'm waiting for the other Robert to get here so I can show you and him at the same time. Where'd that truck come from? <laughs> Did you buy that? I bought it. You change cars and trucks more than Grandpa changed drawers, you know it? Yeah, it's a it's a thing. Wait a minute. It's a thing. It's a problem. It's an addiction. It's Grandpa an addiction. didn't wear drawers, did he? No, no, he did not. Remember the 4th of July? He wore them old overhauls. What were they called? Uh, Liberty? Were they called Liberty overhauls? I think so. I, think so. I, was trying, the, I was trying to forget that day. Remember the 4th of July when he when it was hot too? He had no shirt on and he, and he come around the picnic table and snagged that corner. I was trying to forget that. Hey, you know what we had for dessert that day? What's that? A full moon pie. <laughs> Man, it feels cool out there. I better get me a jacket. I got me a jacket too. Notice that there. Look at that jacket. I got. Oh, I like it. Yeah, my favorite color. Let me look at this truck you got here. I've been to the doctor. Cost me $185, 17 pages of paper. Look at all that paper I got there. Wow. They charge you extra for the paper? I bet that's what that was, too. Look at that truck. What are we going to do about you? Can't do nothing about you. Grandpa said can't do nothing about Robert. All right, so this is probably a good description of this truck would be the truck of my dreams and I will tell you guys why in just a minute first we're gonna walk around and take a better look at it but this is a 1966 Chevrolet C10 panel truck whose truck is this this is definitely my truck cuz I've been talking to a fellow on the internet and he ain't called me back. I found one just like this on the internet. Well, <laughs> he ain't gonna call you back. You didn't buy it, did you? Oh yeah. Dang, I know one darn thing. Did you did you take a look at the original wood floor while you were in there? I, I'm standing on it right now. Look at the original floor. I cannot believe you found this thing. I called a guy up last week. That's where it came from the factory, isn't it? That is it. And you know, it's kind of cool to have this truck out on the farm because it was an old uh, milk truck, so kind of an old farm truck in the past. Huh. Old dairy delivery van. Yep. Ain't that something? What kind of motors it got in it? Oh, it's uh, it ain't the original motor. It ain't no inline six cylinder and three on the tree, that's for sure. He done broke my door now. Done broke your door, son. How'd I do that? There you go. You fixed it. Oh. Closed pretty good, too. Yeah, sure does. So this is the. Uh, this has the optional paint scheme. Um, it's got the uh, side where if you don't want someone to follow you back, it's got this this color over here. And then this color over here, that's actually a pretty rare uh, factory option for uh, espionage purposes. Yeah. yeah. The front seats are out of a conversion van and uh, they're, they're pretty comfortable. They're all right for what they are and they look pretty good in here. It just it doesn't matter how comfortable they are. All that matters is that they, they look good. They look good. Look under the hood. Now there's a pretty cool story about that hood too. And this is the uh, the whole full circle that this truck brings story. Uh, we'll look under it first, then I'll then I'll tell it to you. Tell it to Robert too. He hasn't heard that story yet. You just gotta there, there go. you go. There we go. Well that ain't no inline six, that's for sure. Nope, no, it is not an inline six, it's a 350 V8 that was custom built by the previous owner. It's board 30 over, I think cranks 10 over. 
Uh, he said it's a ZZ clone. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but it's got the good heads and serpentine belt set up too. And also, you, you thirsty? Brother, yeah. Well, don't drink out of that Jack oh, Daniels there. bottle. Overflow bottle you got right there. That's a good design. Huh. That is a good design. What kind of carburetor we got? Four barrel. Four barrel Edelbrock, I believe. Yeah. Something missing right there. Well, I think that's fresh air vent of some sort. So you can smell all the burning oil. No, that's where the heater would go. Yeah, I was going to say, optionally, that's where the heater would go. You don't need a heater because you're warm-blooded, right? Uh, no, I wouldn't put it that way. I need a <laughs> heater. I need a heater. I actually bought one for it, so it'll be coming in soon. So close that hood there for me, Robert. Now, I'll tell you why why this truck means so much to me, why I always wanted one. You got you to gotta slam it pretty good. So back when I was about 14 years old, my very first truck was a 1961 Chevrolet C10. And my cousin, Little George, who uh, was unfortunately killed in a car accident last year, or maybe two years ago now, he, uh, he and I spent many summer months working on that truck. We never got that 1961 Chevy Apache 10. We never got it fixed. It never got the road on the road and then was unfortunately destroyed sometime thereafter. But the one thing that I always kept from that old 61 Chevy truck was this hood. Now, the other thing that's interesting about this being a panel truck is back when I was working on that 61 C10, I had seen in the, in the early days of the internet, I'd seen a 61 panel truck for sale online. And I, I thought that was the coolest thing. I wanted that panel truck more than I wanted the pickup truck I was working on. And I love that pickup truck a whole lot. But I was like 14, 15 back then. I couldn't afford that panel truck. And there were none for sale locally anyway. I'd never seen one before. So all these years later when I saw this 1966 panel truck for sale on the internet, I absolutely knew that I had to have it and also put on this hood from my 61 uh, C10 or 61 Apache 10. Like I said, the only thing that I have left from that truck onto this truck. So it kind of comes full circle, if you will. And uh, I, I'm really proud. I've always wanted one of these and absolutely love this truck. Hey, you know what, Robert? What's that? Unlike a lot of the stuff that I buy, this one actually runs. Oh yeah, I want to hear it. Timmy. All right, so uh, so you ready to take this down some you know country roads, some rural roads and stuff? We fixing to hit the road right now. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing the new farm truck. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll have a bunch more videos coming to you from the farm pretty soon. I'll see you next time.